Okay, so this is a quick overview about how to use Google Reader. If you search for Google Reader, it's the first thing that comes up, and then it asks you to sign in. Uh, if you don't have a, a Google account, you can create a Google account. Members of uh, partner staff have already got one assigned to you. Um, okay, or if you've used Gmail, then it's easy to create your own account and sign in. And here it is. You can see that I've organized my uh, classes in folders down the side. And for each class, um, I've got the uh, students' uh, blogs on there. So uh, these folders don't have any numbers after them because um, the numbers after the folder means that's how many new posts in that folder. And uh, you can see Lily's made, Lily's made one new post. So let's go in and review that. Um, and I can scroll down and I can see all of the posts that she's made recently. This is all just notes. Um, but then down here, okay, this is an original piece of work by Lily. Okay, and if I want to re leave a comment on that, I can just click leave a comment. And then that takes me to Lily's blog. Okay, and then I can click in there and uh, leave a comment for Lily about that. Um, and going back to the reader, you can see that now, because we viewed that post, okay, the, the number there has disappeared. So it's a way of, uh, Google Read is a way of monitoring um, your student blog so that you can see when they've posted, how recently they've posted, and uh, so that it's an easy way so that you can leave comments for them on their work. Um, so let's go through um, how to add a new subscription. Um, so first of all, I need to go to a blog that I'm interested in following. Uh, so here's an interesting blog. So I go and copy the URL, go back to Google Reader and add a subscription. And then paste the URL into there and click add. And there it is. Okay, you can see that there's been 10 new recent posts on that blog. And you can scroll through posts. If you click on any any one of the posts, click on the um, click on there. That's a hyperlink that will take take you to that within the uh, within the blog. And then one thing that I find quite useful sometimes, if I want to look at a student's entire blog, then you just delete all of the stuff after the slash and the slash. Okay, and then you get back to the entire blog again, and you can just scroll down through the entire blog at will. Um, that shows you how to um, put one subscription in at a time. Um, there's another resource um, which will show you how to do many res uh, many blogs all at the same time. Okay, and um, I've uploaded that onto maddogscience.posturist.com, which okay, and uh, there's the post: how to bulk upload. Uh, subscriptions to Google Reader. Thanks to Lee for giving a great session this morning on that. And then uh, how do you create folders? Can't remember. Play around with the buttons. Uh, might be this one down the bottom, manage subscriptions. folders and tags maybe <laughs> can't remember have a play around with it yourself it can't be that hard if I can work it out can it and after a brief uh, pause there to <laughs> regroup my resources and uh, work it out okay at the end uh, there's a little arrow that appears if you hover over it okay and there we go new folder and it's inserted it into that new folder. You can uh, grab things and you can drop them into folders um, or out of folders. And then there's a nice little tip here. Um, if I just unassign that for a moment. Okay, this is a tip from Brian. 
if uh, you're dealing with lots of things, uh, trying to put lots into a folder at the same time, you can um, select everything that's unassigned, which should just be the, the one that I just added. Okay, and put it into Tech Tips, and then that's it. Go back to Google Reader, and it's put it in Tech Tips. So, uh, not very useful if you're just doing that uh, one at a time. But if you've uploaded a whole load, um, and you want to assign them all to the same folder, that's a very quick way of doing that. And that's about all there is to it.